they may be in a position to really take this entire tournament. It's going to start right here on the blind pick in the Grand Arena. Yep, it is a triangle, but two of these teams have two lives. Of course, in the upper bracket, the move versus Casca's Angels, they will have that second chance should they lose, dropping down to Method Orange, which, of course, not a great second chance, but definitely something that you'd rather have rather than being eliminated. We'll see Peekaboo open up onto Dilly, and he's going to be one of the big people to watch playing that subtlety specialization for the first time this tournament to peel for WizK. Yeah, he's going to be shadow dancing all around Casca's Angels in this matchup, playing a lots of crowd control. There's a kidney shot onto Milkman. Cy Foxy seems to be the target of choice, but look for the CC coming in from the move. Kidney shot into silence. Cy Foxy getting lower and lower. Survival instincts into a blind. Milkman has to trink it. So the next time that that kidney shot silence is up, Milkman unfortunately is going to have to sit it. Now Dilly's into the cheap shot. Everyone from Casca's Angels is under fire. Yeah, strong start from the move. They forced the trinket, forced the pain suppression and the exhilaration from Dilly. So big start. Oh! Cy Foxy dropping low, has to use his trinket, gets gripped out of the smoke bomb though, so nice play from Milkman, but his entire team is dying. Step kick coming in from Pipe Peekaboo, who is walking all over this jungle cleave. Yeah, cheap shot on Milkman, Absurd looking for the Hex. Not gonna be able to find it. Fear on the Milkman now. Cy Foxy getting lower and lower in bear form, trying to kite away, but look at Peekaboo. He's getting low as well. Evasion gonna be used. Kidney shot on the Dilly Poo as they make their swap over on him. Milkman just has to heal everyone. Can never top someone off. Everyone's under fire. True shot or activated by Dilly Poo. He he wants to get the pressure rolling. Cheap shot into silence on Milkman. <laughs> Dilly Poo's not going to be able to survive, and that is it. The move making plays in this game. Casca's Angels on the back foot from start to finish. We mentioned miracles may need to happen, but <laughs> that was brutal. At this point in time, Dilly is trying to get a Wyvern Sting and trying to get something going offensively, but it's just too late because once again, the move is quicker to pull the trigger on that setup. You see Cy Foxy is taking all kinds of damage here. Milkman stuck in that cheap shot into full fear. You see Whisk is going to have all of his dots on Cy Foxy, kidney shot onto Dilly Poo, and he doesn't have anything to get out of that one with. And Whisk is going to be doing so much damage. Milkman, of course, has to pick up Cy Foxy, and while he's doing that, Dilly is the one dropping super low. Nice win share from Absturge on Milkman as well, and some purges are gonna come out as well right there. And at this point, the stun DR is almost back up. They do a DR sheep shot, and look at that silence on the human racial of Milkman. Beau yeah, I mean, that ogre, he's always very hungry for death and destruction. I don't think the move are gonna leave him waiting too long. WizK and Peekaboo have been such a devastating force so far in this tournament, and they're looking to do the same once again to catch. Angels. Yeah, look for the CC on the Milkman. Cheap shot onto both DPS coming in from Peekaboo. Wyvern Sing on an app search. There's the silence on Milkman, likely going to be followed up by a stun into a blind blind. Goes out on the Milkman. He gets full kidney shot out of that. Wizk actually forced into dispersion, so this is a lot better for Casca's Angels actually getting some pressure. Kidney shot into Sap over on the Milkman, so he is still in crowd control. Wizk though, taking a lot of pressure. This is nicely done by Casca's Angels. The smoke bomb gets dropped. Dilly Poo getting lower and lower. Playing that relentless survives at 1%. HP. Scary, scary times for Dilly, but they did commit all their offensive cooldowns and get the dispersion from Wizk. So now they're looking to get some crowd control into Absurge. Of course, he is playing the Relentless, so he doesn't have a trinket for this full trap. They, they interrupt the actual Master Spell here. They get another stun. Can they get a kill him before the Void Shift? The Void Shift, of course, will swap health. Wizk and Absurge, they use it. Get the Wyvern Sing. Looks like they're not going to try swap over. Ooh. A beautiful lock, though, coming out of Dilly, knocking the Shaman and the Priest far away from each other. Now we see the counter pressure, though. Here come the stuns. Here comes Peekaboo. Full fear on Milk. Man, surely Dilly's gonna fall here. Here come the Shadow of Deaths. They do get the kill. That, Step executed. That was from Pika. Yeah, that was ultimately the worst knock of Dilly's life. He <laughs> literally knocked him right, uh, knocked Wiske right on top of Milkman, and that's the fear that ended up securing the game. So anything away from him, but I do question what he's going to add. Like you don't see Restoration Shaman Jungle Cleave for a reason very often on the ladder, and that's because the Discipline Priest just add so much offensive utility and we already seen that the move is basically like an unmovable object it's so hard to kill them will cask his angels fly, find their wings and fly or will the move send them down to the lower bracket to play against method orange full sap on the casca right away cheap shot on the dilly kidney shot on a Cy foxy earthen shield totem's gonna be dropped by casca trying to defuse this opener coming in from the move there's a full trap secured from dilly who whiz taking a whole bunch of damage looking for the md cast but it gets hexed on it as well as pounce nice pressure coming in from Casca's Angels. Yep, good start from them. They actually forced the dispersion there from WizK, so an excellent start, of course. Absurd still running that Relentless talent, so it means they won't have a Trinket Link available. It's going to be down to that Void Shift. If they can catch WizK in a stun with this incarnation, they can potentially get the kill, but on the other side, we see Dilly dropping low once again. Human Racial actually dispels the Sin and Punishment there, almost punishing him with his life. Yeah, Dilly Poo now has the Shield. Casca's able to get some heals up on him. Dilly Poo looking for the crowd control now. Lands a full trap! 
Peekaboo actually in a lot of trouble into the bursting shot, trying to run away, spamming with that feint. Absolutely does have the Spearling Totem opening to drop that on that main stun coming in from Cy Foxy. Wiz K and Peekaboo both taking a whole bunch of damage. There's a the full blind on the Casca. He has no trinket if Peekaboo can follow it up. Uh, that's going to be very good for the move, but it doesn't look like they have the follow up CC that they need. And this is actually not looking too bad for Casca's Angels. Yeah, this is actually looking pretty good. I mean, Casca, he's doing a great job of keeping his team stable. They, there's no real rock pressure coming out of the move, and it seems like they still have enough offensive pressure of just Dilly and Cy Foxy to force those cooldowns on the move. So definitely looking good for them so far. We see Casca just dispelling dots in the back line, putting out those urban shield totems, keeping his team offensive as we see the full stun coming out over onto Absurge, trying to land that trap, looking for it. Doesn't look like they should be able to land it just yet. There's the stun. They get a beautiful double fear from Wizk, though, just denying that crowd control as much as possible. Yeah, and Dilly, who's going to retreat, allowing Casca to dispel, and there's the kidney shot coming in from Peekaboo as they make a swap over on the Casca right now. Big damage, Shadow Crash, cheap shot after cheap. Cheap shot, Casca getting lower, trades out the Astral Shift. He should be tanky enough to survive with that, dispelling off some of Wizk's dots there. I don't think Peekaboo's gonna be able to solo him down. And in the meantime, Wizk forcing that dispersion. He actually comes out of the dispersion immediately. Maybe a misplay, but he is ultimately gonna be able to survive. Nice knock trap coming in from Dilipu, trying to separate the team of the move. Uh, split up Absurge and Wizk just a little bit. Yeah, Casca's Angel has actually made some really big plays on that swap to Casca. It was Dilly that was able to silence Wizk to deny his own silence to follow up the triple cheap shot. But we see once again, Kidney onto Casca. Looks like they've got a new target here. They're trying to put as much crowd control as possible. We see Casca, I think he might actually be playing the Dwarf once Ooh. again. So he dwarfed out of the silence to get out of that one. Now Peekaboo taking the brunt of the damage has to trade out his evasion. Does have Vanish, should be able to keep himself alive. But Casca is starting to run a little low on mana. So that's definitely one of the things that the move have going for them in this game. Yes, so Foxy topped off. Everyone from Casca's Angels in a good position. Peekaboo has not a single defensive cooldown left. All they need is one full trap on Absur. They can actually take Peekaboo down. Peekaboo going for that kidney shot onto Casca once again, but he just doesn't have the same mobility like we saw in game number one and game number two. The positioning of Casca's Angels is so much better. They're just not able to get that CC. Cheap shot on the Dilly. He trinkets out immediately. There's a full weapon on the Absur. Now Peekaboo's going to have to retreat. He's spamming out the feint, trying to run away. Wizk actually eating that trap. Very nicely done. Great play from Wizk. Sitting on top of Absur eating that trap, removing his own bleeds and also denying the crowd control from his healer. Excellent stuff for Peekaboo, still dropping low. This is the true shot aura coming out of Dilly. Offensive cooldowns. We can see Casca now, target of choice for Peekaboo, who pops out. There's the Shadow Crash, trying to get a lot of damage. Silence forces out the Astral Shift as well there. Casca dropping low. But one of the things that we talked about, the Restoration Shaman, yes, you have the extra survivability. Yes, you buy the time, but they are struggling to get the actual kill on the move. And Absurge rotating through those cooldowns. Spirit Link almost back up. Looks like he should be able to stabilize his team. Yeah, now Casca could be in some, in some trouble. Keep in mind, he is playing Dwarf, so he doesn't have the reduction on those stuns like you normally see from a Shaman. Peekaboo down to 40% HP. Earthen Shield Totem's gonna be dropped out there by Absturge as he goes into the full bash. Dilipu looking for the crowd control, but another kidney shot forced onto Casca as he gets lower and lower. He has no trinket. Ultimately taken down by the move. Very nicely done. That was a closer game, but still it was can't a lot closer. I mean, it was a completely different game. You know, if they get the rematch, I think we're probably going to see this comp coming in uh, instead of that. Get 3-0 after 3-0 after 3-0, and now they are headed to the grand finals. And the question is, will they have that rematch against Casca's Angels, or will they be playing?